Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and in today's video we are going to be doing a review comparison on the new Cantu gels. I picked up all three. Hold on. I picked up all three so if you want to see how all three of these work just keep watching. But first before we get into the video go ahead if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you already know while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell that way you're up to date with all my videos you're notified every time I upload and I upload every Wednesday and Saturday so if you're subscribed if you've hit that notification bell then you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and get started because <laughs> This water is dripping everywhere. All right, so like I said before, we're gonna do a wash and go. I have my hair in four sections because that's just how I like to do my wash and goes. I like to do two sections in the back, two sections in the front, and that's just my preference. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use each gel in each of the sections, but to compare it, see if they're really good or not, in one of the sections, I'm gonna use my tried and true wet line extreme gel and just compare the three. So I've already added in my leave-in in the shower and that was Misha's lavish leave-in. Now y'all, I, I struggled finding something that would pair with these gels. Normally, I like to use um, a leave-in and then my Camille Rose um, Curl Up Milk or whatever, but when I did the little test on my hand, clump city, clump city, there is clump. So I was like, okay, let me hurry up and try to find something that works. And I think that this leave-in is going to work. I'm just going to pick up the first gel and this is the um, Cantu Shea Butter Maximum Hold Anti-Shedding Styling Gel with Honey. So this one has more of an orange yellow tint to it and this one smells like Cantu, which I don't like, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just start with this back section. What I might do is, I think I'm going to add in a little bit of my Jane Carter Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter, just because I like to use more than just a leave-in and the fact that none of my other products are really pairing with this gel very well has me a little nervous and so I just want to provide as much moisture underneath this gel as possible. So like I said we're starting off with the one with honey and this is pretty jiggly. It's not very thick or like compared to the wet line gel and to the um, Style Factor Edge Booster gel is not as thick, but still a pretty thick consistency. Go ahead and show y'all. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, y'all, I'm nervous. All right, so far so good. It has pretty decent slip. I feel like I'm adding a lot. <laughs> but I really want this to have strong hold. I don't know if y'all can see my curls, but they're pretty defined. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying the anti-shedding styling gel with honey. Just do it throughout this section, and then I'll come back when I'm ready to start using the other gels in the other sections. All 
Alright y'all, we're done with the first section and I know there's like a lot of residue. I had gone back in with the lavish leave-in conditioner because y'all, I'm really trying to make sure my hair is moisturized under these gels. So I just, I don't know, I just have that feeling. So we've already done the anti-shedding with honey, Cantu gel, and so we're going to start off this back side and hmm. I think I'm going to use the Cantu Moisture Retention Styling Gel with flaxseed and olive oil. This one smells good, if I can open it. It smells kind of like green apple, but like a little bit perfumey. I don't know if <laughs> that really makes sense. This one is green. looks yellow but it's more of a green color so we're gonna go ahead and start with this back section over here I'm going to take my some of my restorative um, butter the nourish and shine from Jane Carter solutions and I'm just gonna try to like put it throughout this section so going to part off a section. I'm also curious to like see if I can tell a difference between the gels. This one feels pretty similar to the other gel, the um, anti-shedding with honey. It doesn't feel any more moisturizing than the other gel, the anti-shedding gel with honey. But we'll just have to see what it feels like, you know, when I let it dry and everything, if it feels more moisturizing. But like the other side, I'm just going to finish applying the gel on the side, this back section, and then when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll apply the last Cantu gel and then we'll apply the Extreme Wet Line gel. quick update I feel like this side that has the moisturizing which is the moisturizing gel with the um, flaxseed and olive oil I feel like it's defining my curls a little bit better than the anti-shedding gel with honey Ooh, let me switch them because I definitely have this one on this side and then I have the honey one on this side but I feel like my curls are like more elongated and kind of wavy. Whereas I feel like on this side, my curls are a lot more defined and curly. I don't know, it could just be me. We'll also have to see how this dries. All right, we're gonna move on to the front sections now. I'm gonna do this section first because I actually think that I want to do a side part. Um, and so I'm gonna let the smaller side be the wet line gel side and then I'm gonna let the bigger side be the Cantu gel side. So the next gel I'm going to be using is the Maxima Hold Strengthening Styling Gel and this one has Jamaican Black Castor Oil with it and this one is clear. 
This one has an interesting smell. It doesn't smell like can too, but it doesn't have like a distinct smell. I don't know what it smells like, but we're just gonna go ahead and apply it to the section. Okay, so this one feels similar to the other two. I don't have like a, doesn't have like a distinct feeling or anything compared to the other two. It's going on pretty smoothly. It's really defining my curls. I don't know if it's defining them as well as the moisturizing gel but still defining my curls. Eh, we'll just keep going. All right, y'all, so I'm done with the Strengthening styling gel with Jamaican black castor oil. Now I'm just gonna add my wet line gel, which y'all have seen me do before. Yeah, just like applying this wet line gel, this wet line gel is already a lot thicker. It doesn't spread as easily, but we all know that wet line is a business, so at the end of the day, I always get good results with a wet line. Alright y'all, so this is my hair completely done. We have the anti-shedding styling um, gel with honey on this back left side your right side then we have this moisture retention styling gel with flaxseed and olive oil on this back right side your left side then on this front right side your left side we use the strengthening styling gel with jamaican or with jamaican black castor oil and then we use a good old wet line gel on this left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to air dry as much as I can. It's actually like 90 plus degrees right now in Atlanta. So I might just go outside and just be outside for a little bit. But of course if my hair is not fully dry I'll probably diffuse it. And then I will come back and give y'all the final results and thoughts of these Cantu gels to see if they are actually pretty decent. All right, y'all, I'm back. My hair is fully dry, and I'm here to go ahead and give y'all my final thoughts on these gels. First off, and I wish I would have shown you this before I like did my banding method to stretch out my hair, but my hair was very shrunken. Like, it's the most shrunken I've seen it before, like, in a while. And I'm not sure if it's because I usually layer more than just a leave-in and I usually put in either my curling custard or I've been using like the melanin butter I don't know something that's heavier that elongates my curls more and I didn't use that this time and so I'm wondering if it's because I didn't use those products in conjunction with the gel while my hair was shrunken up so much also I did do a trim but I didn't trim that much so either way my hair was more shrunken than normal which is fine, you can stretch it out. These claim to be like maximum hold and I wouldn't say that they're maximum hold. They definitely have good hold and as you can see, of course this front section is the, the wet line gel but if you look at the back, if you look at the front, if you look at the back on this side, like you can see that my curls are, are defined. But, it doesn't give you the crunch now I know for some of you that is a plus for me it's kind of a con I like the crunch because for me 
crunch means that it's going to last a while. I'm afraid that these curls aren't going to last as long as my normal wash and go does. So on each of these gels, I don't know if y'all can see it, it's super bright. But right here, each of the gels claim that there's no alcohol, which is true. There's no alcohol in the ingredients. Um, there's no crunch. That is true. I just said that there's not a lot of crunch, in my opinion. Like, there's some. There's definitely a, a bit of a gel cast, but not what I'm used to. Not a gel cast like the Wetline Gel or the Style Factor Gel. Um, there's no flakes. It claims that there's no flakes and I don't have any flakes, but that also depends on the product that you pair with it. If y'all are wanting to try these gels out, I definitely recommend if you have the Mish Beauty Lavish Leave-In. It pairs really well. I also added the Jane Carter Solutions Restorative and shine butter and that did not flake with it either so those are two good options to use with this gel you probably can use if you have any Cantu products you probably can use Cantu products with this I don't own any Cantu products besides these gels so as far as the moisture retention versus the strengthening versus the anti-shedding the moisturizing one doesn't feel more moisturizing than the other gels anti-shedding i would probably have to use this um a lot more in order to see if it's anti-shedding or not i don't think i'm going to be able to tell in one use and then as far as the strengthening one i don't know my hair doesn't feel any different than the rest so if you're deciding to pick up one versus the other, to me they're really all the same. It's really just a matter of what color you want, what oils you want, and what smell you want. Those are the main differences to me in these gels. You do get a good, decent amount of product. You get 18.5 ounces. I got this from House of Beauty Online. I haven't seen these in store yet. Um, they might be in like beauty supply stores, but as far as like Target, Walmart, um, places like that, Sally's, like I have not seen them in store. I'll go ahead and um, link these on House of Beauty's website down in the description box. I believe they were all about $5.95. One of them was like $6.95, one of them was like a dollar more than the rest. I forget which one, but they're six to seven dollars, which is actually really good. I definitely like. I would recommend these. So far, so good. Um, they may not last as long as I want to. I'll keep y'all updated. Today is actually, what is today? Today is May 25th. It is Saturday. So the same day that I'm filming this is also the same day that this is going to be uploaded. So I will keep y'all updated if you follow me on Instagram at NJ Eberhardt. I will go ahead and link that down below in the description box as well. But if you follow me, I'll definitely keep y'all updated as far as like how long this lasts because I know my wash and goes with my wet line, they basically last the whole week. And like I said, I'm not too sure if this is gonna last the whole week. But yeah, y'all, I'm actually really shocked. I really did think these gels are gonna be trash, to be quite honest. I didn't have very high expectations for these gels but they actually really really shocked me okay y'all so that is it for this review on these three new Cantu gels um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all have any questions or comments make sure you leave them down below as always y'all I'm so thankful and grateful to have each and every one of you watch my video comment like um, just show love and support like I really do appreciate it and until next time y'all I will see y'all in the next video Bye.